Hello guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in this demo, we are going to see how we can copy the files from source to destination in Azure Data Factory and using the time partition file name. So, and sometimes it happens that in the storage, we keep the file as a year wise and then internal subfolders are month and date wise and then hourly wise. So that is the time partition file folder names we, we talk about. And we will see if this is the file folder name in source, how we can leverage that one and copy the incrementally to the destination. So let's go to Azure for this demo. Okay, so for this demo, we add in our Azure subscription and resource group. This is the first lake, software lake, ADF lake, which we are going to use as a source. And this is the ADF which we have created in previous videos. And this is the destination lake, which has destination file as a container. There is no folder inside file inside that one. If we go into source lake also, then we have source file container but there is no folder so we will create that one let's go back to our adf and launch the studio once we are into home page let's click on ingest button to use copy data tool and generate the required pipeline data set and triggers so let's select the built-in copy task and let's click on tumbling windows and because i don't want to wait too much let's have every five minute this job to run and then we can go in more details so every five minute i'm going to use tumbling trigger because that gives the additional parameter of accessing the system function of windows start and windows end so for this demo i am going to use gen2 so let's create a new connection for gen2 source lake and let's create our source lake connection strings from account key and linked service for source lake has been created now if you see file modification be loading behavior there are three options and we have seen a lot of uh, times load all files in last modified in previous demos now we are going to use this incremental load time partition folder in file names and I'm going to browse our folder paths and if I select now time based partition, it gives me access to different variable. Now we can use variable in the paths, right? So we can have this like uh, this one now in here and now because we have added our hours and minutes also. So I'm going to add the details over here. Okay. And the same thing, let's have that details, right? so this is the path which we are going to use right now and the year format let's use four time y and this is the path it is going to look like right now so and we can give one more so that it will generate all the path required path so let's go into next and Let's go previous because in, in this section, configuration section, it is asking about file formatted column delimiter. We do not want that. Let's use the binary copy function and we will go as a next. Then it will not ask the details. Let's have this destination. Destination we do not have because we have not created that one. So destination lake select that. And let's use another lake in our case to have that and here also let's browse that destination files okay and then we can put the same path over there so let me copy from here itself and I will go back and put the details after that that this is the file format it is going to be and four time y because we are doing doing over there four time y we can go ahead and do and if we go into next it will give in destination 
all these details are coming file name are defined by stored so it is going to come as same right so all this let's let me verify one more time all the details are going to come so let's see let's see all seems okay let's go next and let's put the name like time based time based partition right file and folder and then let's go next and we can click on the next so that it will create now the required data set required trigger required pipeline and we finish that one and let's go and see in the pipeline view what pipeline generated this is the pipeline this is the activity and if we go into source section it generated all the required folder paths and other things and if you see the folder path it is going to display like this one so if we see let's see this will be that all the giving the folder function and other things for why why it is taking from window start window end all the details are coming from this pipeline parameter and pipeline parameter if we go in, inside here this is uh, the data set taking the folder path which is going to populate and file name will be all and uh, this is the sync sync is also same and if we see that uh, parameter pipeline uh, the pipeline uh, parameters then a window start is coming and a window start is going to come from our trigger uh, the this trigger is going to pass that a window parameters and other thing that that is system variables so it is going to run uh, every five minutes and if we go and see that this is time it is running right now but it will fail because we don't think we have any variable setup and if we see the parameter right now here it is 10 20 uh, it is running in 10.25 but it is passing 10.20 because 10.20 to 10.25 it's supposed to run the first time window start and end that's how it is there let's see it failed it says that there is no file found because we have not created right now any path over there so let's go and try to create path inside our inside our source folder and let's create the path let's 2020 it's required then it requires for month inside the month we have to create and then inside month we have to create our so uh, okay so we we have missed something over there let me change quickly what we missed over there by putting into source and destination let's put let's see so after mmdd and slash minute we uh, have slash one slash is missing here so let me put that so that it will take proper so and in the sync let's let me see that sync is correct or not because it eventually it will fail also if we will not put that so let's see in the sync sync is also it is a little bit wrong so let me put into sync also and publish that details so now if we see let me refresh this and if we go into sync let me take back and let me go ahead and put that now it is after did it is there and if we go back into our source okay in source also it is there so now let's go ahead and after 11 uh what was that time it took last time so i'm going to check that file time which it took last time and failed with saying that took okay, 10 so okay so we given that now it is we have to give that hour uh, date uh, date we given that 19 is our day so 90 we have to give and then we have hours so hours was 10 utc it is taking so 10 and this time it will run at 25 given the parameter will be 25 for window start so let me put and if we go inside that and let's upload that one i hope till that time the file had uh, this uh, 
pipeline is not running it will take a couple of more minutes i guess we have a couple of more minutes so it is uploading right now so we have now in this path whatever date uh year four times and that month and then our day hour and minute all this is there so if we next time it is going to run and it's supposed to pick that one let's see if it does not give any error so now next run has just started so let's see that now what happens if we see that it is into q it is in progress right now and it is succeeded so let's see what are the different thing came right now and if we see the details one file has been written copy in one file so if we see that parameters what was the parameter we can see quickly let's see from here let's go back and let's see what was the parameter it was 1025 and if and here is that source and destination file parameters are there which it got read in 2025 and then it pushed into destination destination and source it is here source and destination let's go and verify into our source storage it was there we know that we have put into source storage so source storage was there only one file and it was there into this folder and it was there let's go to destination now this is destination file let me refresh this one now i can see that year wise folder then uh, uh, month and then date and then time and then minutes the all the folder i'm able to see so let's create one more folder at 30. so now that time will be 30 right a minute will be 30. so 10 30 let me push another file over there and next time this file will be picked so from this folder all the files it from this folder so let let me put another file over there also one more file so two files will be there so yeah so let me we have now two files and right now if we see in destination we have only this folder not the second one in in that uh, our here we have two folder because we just created with product self and supply so let's wait for next run and see how, what happens now next run has started so let's see it is also succeeded so let's go back and see here and then our source and destination was now 30 and with the 10 timestamp so okay this here it is again it took the old ones or here it is not printing but it is taking that from that folder whatever is folder is here so let's see why it is not printing over there maybe we in the user property that format we did not update it that is why it is there it is the old format that is why it is taking but it is taking the proper one because we fixed one place so here it was missing that is why in that log cities but let's go back to our source file and source file we have in 30 and in destination let's refresh that now we can see 30 and this two file is came so that is what i wanted to show how based on time based partition we can have folder in the source and destination how we can pull based on that one thank you